Hey guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews, and today we are going to talk about the Life Pro Pacer Mini. If your overall goals are to hit that recommended 10,000 steps per day, I do think an under the desk treadmill is a good option. However, there is a lot I do like about this treadmill, and a lot that I don't think is a good fit for a lot of people. I mean, it fits a very specific type of user. But we're going to go through all the details of this mini treadmill. But first, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see all things fitness. Also, if you want to purchase this treadmill, we've placed a link below the like button, making it super easy for you to use. And we greatly appreciate when you use that link. One thing that is a little unique about this treadmill is that it is set as an incline. Now, I haven't seen that a lot with other walkable treadmills. A lot of them, they're just at a neutral incline. This is set as a 3% incline, so you're always going to be activating that posterior chain. So think things like your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves. All of that is really going to be a lot more engaged. Also, anytime you're walking at an incline, it just brings a lot more intensity to your training. Overall, there's a ton of health benefits to engaging that posterior chain, but aesthetically, I mean, muscles on the backside of your body look freaking sweet. So if you are wanting to up your physique on your posterior chain, I mean, this is a good treadmill to use. You might be familiar with Life Pro Fitness brand. I mean, they offer massage guns, dumbbells, and more. Also, they do have a walkable dog treadmill, which if you like dogs, I mean, you should just Google this because it's like the cutest thing and the dogs look so happy walking on this treadmill, but that's not what we're talking about today. All right, in terms of people, I think this is a good fit for those who are under 5'9". I think if you are over 5'9", this probably would not be a good fit. We'll talk about the belt deck size in a minute and why I don't think it's a good fit for taller users. But another person I think this is really good for is somebody who has a smaller space. I mean, this is a tiny footprint. So if you're somebody who maybe lives in a studio apartment and you work from home, you need an under the desk treadmill to work from, it could be a good option for you. However, if you are over 220 pounds, you have a longer stride, this isn't gonna be ideal for you. I mean, I am 5'4", and I honestly felt like I kept looking down beneath me as I was walking, making sure that like my feet were going over the top or I wasn't gonna fall off the back. The more I use it, the more I got comfortable, but initially it is such a smaller belt deck size that those who are taller or those who have a longer stride, I just don't see this being a good option for you. On Amazon, this treadmill sells for $400. I was kind of shocked by that fact. When I compare it to something like the Urevo 2-in-1 that's around 300, 250 on Amazon right now, and also has a higher weight capacity than this treadmill, it kind of surprised me a little bit. And I think that higher price point really comes into play because it is set at an incline. This treadmill is honestly one of the smallest that I've seen so far with a footprint of only 32.7 inches long by 25 inches wide and 41 inches high. Also, this only weighs 48 pounds. Now, while that might be like, oh my gosh, this is the most portable thing I've ever seen. Like it's under 50 pounds. Like I am swole, like I can move this easily. Guys, this is kind of awkward. Like it wasn't just me who found it awkward to move. Sam here came, moved it into the garage for us as we were getting set up, and he literally said, quote, this is awkward. So it does have wheels on the front, making it a little easier to move around. It has a handlebar that can raise and lower, but overall, there just wasn't any sort of handles. There wasn't a good way to just pick it up and move. I just kind of expected there to be handles so that you could pick it up easily and move it around from place to place, but it wasn't there. Now, I know I compared the weight capacity to the Urevo 2-in-1, and again, this is only 220 pounds. Overall, I wish it was higher, but I'm not really surprised that it isn't given that this is such a small treadmill. The top speed on this treadmill is three miles per hour, and really, I would not want to go faster than that. I went at that three mile per hour mark. I was constantly checking to make sure that my feet were still on the belt deck. Like, it was a little scary to go that fast. I'm sure that if I used it a lot more, I'd become a lot more comfortable, and I wouldn't have that fear because I would know my stride length versus the size of the deck. But the first time using it, I was a little apprehensive to go at that higher speed. A huge benefit to this treadmill is that there is essentially no assembly process. You attach the handlebars and you are set to go. So if you are impatient and you are like me and you just wanna like get on your machine and go once you get it in the mail, like this is a good fit because essentially you'll be ready to go in like 10 minutes top. One thing I will say is this treadmill comes with a remote. So if you are somebody who is bad at keeping remotes, 
don't get this because if you lose the remote, you won't be able to use this. The remote controls things like your start, your stop, and your speed settings. And there is a small LCD display at the bottom of the treadmill that's gonna show you all of your metrics. Now I have said again and again throughout this video, this is a small deck size. It is only 27.6 inches long by 15.6 inches wide. With such a small footprint, I mean, this is again, really good for users who have a studio apartment who wanna bring this to work. The whole thing is essentially like three feet by two feet long. When you raise the handlebar, it can go up to 41 inches tall, but you can raise and lower the handlebar to different settings. But again, if you are 5'9", I don't know how comfortable it would be to use that handlebar. However, if you are my daughter and you are adorable and we lower the handlebar all the way down and you use it, then it's so cute. Obviously, you're not gonna find any incline settings since this is a predetermined incline setting. It goes up to 7% which is great. Like as I was using it, as I was walking, I definitely felt an intensity in my posterior chain. I felt my muscles being activated and that was only walking at about a 2.5 mile per hour pace for about 10 minutes. One thing I will call out, if you plan to use this under the desk, I do think it's gonna take some getting used to. As you are working and using this as an incline, it's just a totally different feel than being on a like neutral zero ground. Not to say that I don't think it is doable. It's just something to be aware of. There might be a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to walking at an incline as you are working at a desk or working at your computer. Whatever the case may be, it's not out of the question. I don't think it's like impossible. I just think it is a little bit of a different feel. Now, of course, the intention for this, I think is a lot of people to use this under the desk. So if you use it under the desk, obviously you'll have a place to put your keys, your phone, your water bottle, whatever the case may be. But just know that in terms of convenient features, this doesn't have really any of those. This is like a bare bones treadmill. So it doesn't have a water bottle holder. It doesn't have any place to set your phone or your keys, whatever kind of things you wanna bring with you. It's essentially just a handrail and a treadmill. Obviously this is a smaller treadmill, but one thing I was pleasantly surprised by is even when we went up to that three mile per hour mark, I didn't experience any sort of shakiness. This felt like a really solid, sturdy machine and truthfully a little bit more sturdy than something like the Go Plus 2-in-1. I think because the base just feels solid, it has that incline, so there's a little bit more weight to it at the bottom. I didn't experience any sort of shakiness and overall I was really pleased by that. Overall, this is a super simple treadmill. I mean, this is bare bones. The display is simple. It's basic metrics. It's a basic design, like not the most aesthetically pleasing, but I mean, it's kind of cute and adorable, easy to use. Overall, there are not a lot of treadmills out there like this today. There are not a lot of walkable treadmills that have a set incline level. There are some walkable treadmills that have a manual incline that you can change and adjust as you want, but they're just not the same so I think this is a really unique feature that this treadmill has to offer. That is it for me. Let us know if you try this treadmill and if you do, or if you get like a cute little pet or your little girl walking on it as like the handlebar is like all set down, send us a picture. I think it'd be adorable. We want to see it. This has been Lindsay with Garage and Reviews. Yeah.